Do you guys want to know about a super affordable capture card under $30? Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to the video. First and foremost, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification icon. That way you get alerts anytime I post a new video. Also, please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, hit that other one. Now let's get to it. All right, with everything that's been going on in the last few months, trying to get a capture card of any type has been almost impossible. Uh, here recently over the last few weeks, a super inexpensive uh, capture card has kind of popped up on the market. These things have been on Amazon, they've been on eBay, AliExpress, pretty much anywhere you look, you're finding these little, uh, I guess, Elgato capture card clones uh, that are super inexpensive, under $30. I've seen them ranging anywhere from about $15 to $40. I personally got the one that I'm recording with right now on eBay for about $16. And then I've seen a few on Amazon for anywhere between 20 and 30. Now I'm currently recording this video through my capture card. I'm using the uh, Canon M6 Mark II. I do have it set as 4K clean HDMI. Now one of the things about this capture card to note is that it says it only takes a 1080p input. However, I'm able to send a 4K input to this even though I'm only getting 1080p output. Now, I've got to be absolutely honest. I didn't really expect much for the price that I paid for it. Um, I've ordered lots of these cheap items from places like Wish and AliExpress before, and very rarely do they end up actually working the way they're supposed to. Um, this has been a pleasant surprise with this capture card. It's super easy to set up, no drivers required. I plugged it in, uh, hooked my camera into it, and OBS picked it up instantly without having to do any extra work. Now, because my specific camera does have a clean HDMI feature, I'm able to mess with the settings and dials on the camera specifically uh, without them showing up on the screen. Same thing with the autofocus. Um, and still have all the capabilities of my camera while on OBS. Now, you compare this to something like the Elgato, which when it can be found, runs about $120 to $130. Uh, here as of late, since you can't find these things, I've seen them being scalped online for upwards of $200 plus. You really can't beat it for the price. Are you going to get the same quality as Elgato? Probably not, but you're also paying $20 for a uh, capture card. So for the amount of money you're paying, you're getting tremendous value in regards to what this little guy is putting out. Now, the specific capture card that I'm using uh, probably isn't the best for trying to use for something like uh, game consoles or anything like that because there isn't an HDMI output. So there's only one single uh, input that goes directly into the computer. So you can't really see a live feed of what you're doing uh, that doesn't have a delay, which would make gaming on it um, a little bit on the hard side it's not something I would recommend you do uh, there is another version of this capture card which I'm gonna do a review on later that does actually have the HDMI output and should work far better for that that little unit only runs about 30 to 35 dollars so the price is very similar uh, to the one we're looking at in the video today I honestly don't know what else to say about this capture card I think the uh, video itself does a lot of talking um, in terms of the type of quality you can expect to get uh, this capture card is probably going to be a main part of my new permanent recording desk that I just built. That way I can set my camera down, plug it right into the computer, and then immediately start recording videos uh, and make that process a lot quicker. I personally don't see a need for me to upgrade to an Elgato down the road. This capture card is doing absolutely fine for what I need it for. Uh, this is something that I recommend highly for anyone who just wants to sit down and do a daily vlog at your computer, uh, if you're doing reaction style videos, or just anything that involves some form of talking head content. Now I don't really have a name to give you for these uh, capture cards. They don't have one name. I've seen them under probably two dozen different names. They're just a inexpensive card that's being mass produced in China, being sold off to multiple companies with different names. Uh, essentially you can look up HDMI capture card and just look for the ones at the lower price. They all look identical so they're fairly easy to uh, to find once you see it. And like I said, I'm going to leave a few links below that way you can try to find it a little bit easier as well. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to see me do in the future, as always, please comment down in the comment section. I love seeing comments from my viewers. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It does a lot for the channel. And until next time. Thank <laughs> you.